Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Jackie O. It's a girl, Jackie O. So I'm Jackie Ida, and uh, I like to pick and choose when I feel like doing favorites just because you know how it is. You know, we always have this talk. We always have this talk at the beginning of a new favorites video because I don't get to do them very often. Now before we roll out into those favorites today, this video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is a service that allows you to choose and listen to and buy audiobooks. As much as I love books, sometimes I just don't have time to dedicate the time to sit down and physically turn a page. And so Audible allows me to kind of like get the best of both worlds. Like I'm hearing the message and I'm hearing the story being told while I'm doing other things. They have books from all genres. They have comedy, they have um, science fiction, they have crime. My last favorites video, I talked about Crash the Chatterbox by Pastor Stephen Furtick, which was amazing, super motivational. Now I'm reading Charlemagne's book that's called Black Privilege. And at first, I'm not even gonna lie, just like probably all of you guys are, I was like side eye, what's he mean by black privilege? But it was a lot of you guys that tweeted me saying, no, 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 it's not what you think it is, just give it a shot. I'm not done with it yet, I'm about three fourths finished. I think it's just a really, really good reminder of like, you don't always have to be a product of the circumstances around you if you are destined to be something all it takes is using that inner privilege that you do have as a person of color and using it to your advantage I think it is a privilege to be a black woman I don't agree with all of the things that Charlemagne says I don't even agree with him calling himself Charlemagne the God like I'm not trying to get too deep into that or whatever but overall it is a pretty good book he's hilarious and the fact that he narrates it makes it even more funny because he's an idiot. Well, you probably already know Charlene's an idiot. Just follow his Twitter, then you know. You just tell he really doesn't take himself overly serious. And um, I'm looking for my next suggestion. So please, if you have any, I would never run out of ideas. I am going to continue using the service, whether or not I continue working with Audible. This has kind of like reignited that flame for me and really has motivated me to get back into literature in a whole different kind of way. So if you do sign up for Audible, you actually get one free audiobook a month. And a lot of times they'll have like sales on audiobooks that are 30% off of like the regular audiobook price. So it's kind of nice. I got the Bluetooths and I listen to my books in my car and I'll be whipping and running and zooming. Also available on Androids, Amazon, Fire tablets, and Windows phones. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say other than the fact that you can actually get a 30 day free trial. If you are not already an Audible member, just click the link that I'm going to be leaving in the description box and get your reading on. Get your reading on. Hey. No but, no, but seriously though, please let me know in the comments what I should read next. General rule of thumb, I like motivational stuff, I like funny stuff. Now before we get started, you're already a minute into this video. So either you like me or you don't. And if you do, why don't you subscribe? The button is only right there. You know, it's, 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 it's just easy. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, my favorites are kind of scattered all over which way. Fresh color really will make you fall in love with being natural. It really will, just lights that fire. I don't have any hair stuff. I feel like I should have hair stuff because I keep talking about my new hair, but I don't. But I will talk about this K-Lux Vacation Body Oil Highlighter. I don't recall how much I paid for this. I wanna say like 20 bucks or Let me double check real quick. Okay, so 26 bucks. I mean, 26 bucks, it's 3.3 fluid ounces. So it's just over just over that TSA limit, or is it four ounces? I don't remember. Anyway, this is a really beautiful body oil. It is black owned, it is also indie. I feel even better when I'm buying this and using this, knowing that I'm supporting, you know, like a, a local sister, girl, a local sister. They have glosses, they have body oils, they have highlighters, but these are the ones that stick out to me the most. And this is the one that I've been rocking with the longest. This actually reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot. If you're looking for a cheaper dupe for the Minoe body oil from NARS, Sis, I'm not spending 60 bucks on this. Well, I did, so you know, I can't really talk. Well, actually, just kidding. This was actually given to me in a PR box. Never mind. Yeah, I think that the next best thing is this. Now, it's not going to look like shimmer, 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 shimmer sparkle. It's not gonna look like diva sparkle, like disco ball. Maybe you have a little cellulite, maybe you have stretch marks. I have, despite what people think, I have stretch marks and cellulite. My body's not perfect. I kind of feel like these body oils help to camouflage it, you know, make it look all nice and even, especially even more so in pictures. So I love this stuff. There's still a lot of powder products out on the market that I really, 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 really like, that I really adore, love. But right now, I should just say beauty bakery flower. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's doing a lot for me. It's paying my debt. It is um, paying off my student loans. It financed my car, you know, it, it cured my single strand knots is what this powder did for me. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm saying to you. 
it solved my daddy issues, you know. I'm loving, loving the smooth butteriness of this powder. And lately, I've actually been reaching for this more than I have the Laura Mercier one. It's been doing that much for me, like that much. And you know, this is a lot because powders, I'm so like, oh, when I stick to a favorite, I very rarely am open to trying new things. And when I tried this one, I liked it, but like not enough to like divorce all the other powders, but the way it is looking right now. <laughs> No, I don't know. I mean, I'm just a girl that likes a couple different variations of things. And it's nice to know that finally I have options. I didn't always have options. So now I do. I had to give some love to the spicy Urban Decay Naked Heat. I, I kind of feel like this was what we needed from the Urban Decay Naked series. And while I really liked it, genuinely, truly, Honestly, a lot of people were just like, girl, we're not here for it no more. And I can kind of get why, you know, I do feel like the Naked series was starting to get a little, you know, a little redundant, but it, it that's why it's called Naked, you know what I mean? So it was like, there's only so much they can do. I like the fact that they added some spice, they heated it up, they switched it up, you know, the change up, 2017. Urban Decay said, we not playing with y'all no more. We're not playing with y'all no more. And we were like, what? we got it, okay? We got it. I've been taking this palette with me everywhere. I really, really, really wanted to say right now the Nicole Concilio palette has been giving this one slightly, a little bit of a run for its money. The Violet Voss palette that she created, but I didn't want to incorporate that in the favorites video because I've only been using it for like a week now, even though I love it and I've been reaching for it a lot more lately. I just know how people are about that and it's totally right, I understand. Like I haven't really been using it long enough to feature it in a monthly favorite, so who knows, maybe we'll give the next favorites a shot. But I did wanna throw that out. If you're not really in Urban Decay shadows or if you just don't like the color payoff or whatever, because some people don't like Urban Decay shadows, the quality or the feel, I think these are bomb, but everyone likes something different. Then I kind of feel like the next best thing or the next similar vibe is Nicole's palette and I will link it down below, which, I just found this out yesterday, but I didn't know. Apparently they gave me a coupon code and it's the only Violet Voss coupon code that can be used on our palette. So I will link that down below. Shout out to Bahi for the Shania Lash. This is another thing that I've had for months. Randomly started just picking it up more frequently than others. I like the fact that they're a little bit on the bushy. They're like a demi wispy, but bushy. Does that make sense? Anytime I need a bold lash to go with the look, I'm reaching for this one. It's such a good lash. I'm. I'm hoping, hoping that if I go online right now and order some more, they would still have them in stock. If they don't, I'm gonna be pissed. I've fallen in love with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders. Not that I ever stopped, but I started reaching for others that, this is like discovering old favorites again. I feel like I've been reaching for Double Take a lot lately. It's got the prettiest, maybe I just in the, maybe in the beginning I just wasn't giving this the amount of love it really deserved. But I started using it and now I keep it in my main drawer with my everyday highlighters because it's so pretty. It's the prettiest, nicest peachy gold. I'm wearing it now. I tried to wear as many of my favorites in this video as I could so you can physically see them. Art Couture is like known for their highlighters. So if you have not woken up and stopped sleeping on them, good morning, you might want to right now, like right now. And who knows, we may or may not be bringing back an old favorite. <clears throat> <clears throat> cough something in throat <laughs> but you didn't hear that from me okay so these nars liquid blushes i always have to shake them every time i see them because then they start separating these nars liquid blushes though really are doing it for me my two favorites are dolce vita which is a darker pink and then torrid which is a coral and then they have two others i think they have four in total but i don't know these are the only two that really stood out to me i'm wearing toward right now you're gonna pour it out and it looks like a really really bright orange but once you like pat it in and start to like buff it out it's very it's very soft it's very subtle and because it's liquid it almost kind of like adds a glow to your cheek which is kind of nice you don't have to wear highlight if you don't want to it just adds the prettiest wet look to your cheeks so gorgeous right now i'm also getting a hell of a kick out of their new liquid lipsticks i don't know what nars was doing with liquid lipsticks before like i remember them launching like a little a very small collection of them maybe like four years ago and then i feel like you never heard from them again and they were there were only like four of them or i think there were like two or three of them they ended up recently launching a full line and i'm loving the formula loving the formula 
It is, however, very watery, so you have to be careful with how you fling it out of the bottle when you're applying them. Color payoff is phenomenal. Super, super high coverage with minimal product, which means you don't have to pile as much on. And if you have dry lips like me, that makes a big difference because if I'm putting on three caked up layers, then she gonna be crusty and dusty. It's not cute. You know how when you're wearing a liquid lipstick and you get that white line? So you can avoid that by wearing less layers of it and because these are so opaque and so pigmented I kind of feel like you get away with that more right now I'm wearing slow ride on the outer like the outer perimeter of my mouth the darker color and then I wore get it on in the center for this kind of like cool ombre look other favorite ombre mentions are just what I needed and save the queen I also did a full swatch video on these which should hopefully be approved for um, going live sometime in the next week so you'll see me swatch and try all of them on and it was like love at first sight. NARS is like one of the only brands I feel totally comfortable doing a first impressions with. Who would have thought you can actually apply your makeup with the Clarisonic? Okay, this is this this isn't what you think this is. This ain't that kind of game. This ain't that kind of party. Clarisonic launched the Sonic brush head. This is not a cleansing head. This was designed and created for foundations blushes, contour. I actually featured this in an Instagram video and I got a lot of confusion and I can totally understand why you'd be confused because a lot of people think that this is pushing the product into your skin like a normal Clarisonic does, but it actually doesn't at all because if you read the instructions and if you see how it's demonstrated, you're actually kind of like grazing over the skin and hovering it and it blends things in like unreal. It's unreal. I think that, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call this a must have. Like you can get foundation brushes that are way more inexpensive and way more affordable than this. But for someone like me that has carpal tunnel and the constant like moving around and tension in your wrist, it can be really, really hard on my wrist. So I just find that this takes kind of like the work out of blending. Believe it or not, it is not doing the same thing that regular brushes do. And I feel like people are like, well, it's not really doing anything if you're moving it. And it's like, well, it kind of is because I'm, I'm typically adding a lot more pressure when I'm using regular foundation brushes. I have to get in the crevices, whereas this, I'm just barely grazing over my skin. It blends out liquid blushes beautifully. I can contour beautifully with it. It's fabulous. If you were thinking about getting it, I'm telling you it's Jackie O approved. I love it. The last couple things that I have are skincare because I'm a skincare junkie. You know what it'll do, you know what it's like. <laughs> Bare Minerals just recently launched the Vital Power Eye Gel Cream. I randomly got this and I wasn't really paying attention to it. And then I opened it and I was like, ooh. Okay, this is kind of lit. This is probably one of the best next to the 230 something Zoella eye cream that I've been using from Lancome. I'm on my like third jar of it. This one comes pretty close to that. And this one is 32 Zoellas. You get quite a bit of product in here. First of all, I really like the packaging of this entire line. They have a serum that comes in the same packaging too. Side note, I like packaging, that's just me. You get about, how many grams of this do you get? You get 15 grams. I am willing to spend everything it takes on good eye creams and this is one that I've been reaching for a lot this month and I would proudly repurchase over and over again because I like it that much it's a good daytime eye cream and it's a good nighttime eye cream really helps nourish that skin while eye creams may seem pretty pricey I mean you literally are using the tiniest bit like less than a pea for both eyes so you get you know, you, you can get the stretching, get get the, get the stretch out of it, get your money's worth, okay? Let's make this really quick and cute because I'm starting to sweat. The Botox under my arms is wearing off, how about that? Shout out to whoever told me that the Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro comes in a spray. I've been addicted to this, addicted to this since they sent it to me months ago. It is my home fragrance, it is my body fragrance. I spray this on my furniture, I spray this in rooms in my house and I'm in love with the scent, in love with the scent. I want this like in everything. I went from the body cream to this and I'm so glad that they have a bigger size of this as well. This is the travel one. Thank you to brands that make travel size stuff. Like, do you know how important that is? Especially for someone who doesn't want to splurge and buy the whole thing. Cause Sol de Janeiro is not cheap. So get you the travel size and try before you buy. Boop. I got to recently visit the Dermalogica headquarters out here in LA. It was just so cool seeing how much they put into the skincare and it's more clinical and they don't really care about you know the f the fluff and the frill and they just put a lot of education into the products as well as you know 
having great products as well. Um, I started using some of the stuff and incorporating it into my skincare routine this month. And I'm really, really happy with the special cleansing gel. It is super gentle, super gentle. It washes right off and it makes my skin feel so soft. I did a full face using all of the new skincare products that they that I went home with that day. And I was talking about them on Instagram and I was talking about some of the stuff I liked, some of the stuff I felt I could pass on. This was what stuck out to me the most is the special cleansing gel. I'm also really enjoying their cleansing oil. And yeah, they I've just learned that they've had a really devoted like cult like following a lot of you guys were tweeting me saying hey Jackie this is how I would use this product next time if you don't like it as much which was super super helpful so thank you for everyone who did that I'm always in the hunt for really good face washes that are very gentle and won't break me out and this is just one that I can add to my arsenal Woo -woo. okay okay last two products I got are scrubs one is for the lips and one is for the body one is for the body you gotta do the body roll when you say it too body the body I'm on my third jar on the bite beauty lip wait, what's it called agave sugar lip scrub I like this because it doesn't dissolve super quick okay it smells amazing I don't know who agave is, but you cool with me, all right? I can kick it with you on Saturday. My lips feel so soft. It's so tempting not to use this twice a day, but I can't. I cannot, I cannot. And it smells, I actually think it smells better than it tastes. I think it has a, a weird kind of like sugary, but salty taste. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. And I like that it doesn't leave the film because some lip scrubs are also hydrating your lips but they overdo it, you know? So I like the fact that it's it gets all the gunk off and I'm not left with like hard to remove residue after. I love this stuff. I went and bought two backups. Shout out to you, Bite, because I'm coming for your lip products. I know they also have a lot of really good staple lip products and I just haven't really got into them because I'm such a lip junkie, I'm all over the place, but this scrub, however, I'm really, really digging. Don't ever change the formula of the scrub or else I'm coming for you. Any ancestors, thank you. The last thing that I wanna talk about was an accidental buy. And what I mean by that is I think I just impulsively picked it up and I was like, I want that. I, I literally have no other excuse. It is the fresh brown sugar. Oh, I, shout out to me. I'm coordinating or whatever. So this is, I think, I feel like I feel like the Bite Beauty scrub also has brown sugar, or maybe I'm just thinking that because it's brown. I don't know, maybe I'm reaching. Anyway, this is a brown sugar scrub, and the beads in here don't go nowhere. You can scrub for like 45 minutes, no, not that long. But it just, it just create. Oh. it's unlike any other scrub I've ever tried. Okay, first of all, first of all. But the formula of the liquid inside there, whatever that brown sugar stuff is, it creates this really nice silky feel to the skin. I don't know, it just turns into this weird, like almost kind of like an oil, but not really an oil. And it rinses off and your body is not ashy. You know how it is. Okay, you know what time it is. I'm a chocolate girl. We can do student loan debt, all right? We can do man problems, but we can't do ash like I just I've refused to accept ashiness so I like products that when I'm using them in the shower they're kind of like moisturizing and I don't have to do much after I get out so that's what this does it's really nice I went and bought a backup because I don't like running out of things or maybe I'm just a hoarder I don't know which one it is I don't know if you could just give me some guidance maybe you could tell me thank you so much for hanging out today on our favorites don't forget to check out audible I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description box down below and I really hope you enjoyed hanging out I sure did this is Fun. I'm a little sweaty, but it's cool. You know, a little sweaty never hurt nobody. I'm gonna leave you to it. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to click the videos. And if you aren't subscribed, what you waiting on?